that guys to my next episode of what is going to be my Leicester City career mode. I think it's episode 28 if I'm not too, if I'm correct, should I say. Um, in this episode I am going to play two games, uh, the Sunderland and Aston Villa game. And then I'm also going to get through deadline day. I've been given some options of my uh, rep of my new centre mid that I'm looking at getting. And I've decided to go through and get um, and look at getting uh, a centre mid from Newcastle called Henry Saive. Uh And I've looked at his stats on, like, online and all that and he seemed pretty decent. So I thought I'll give him a go. So I'm going to look at trying to sign in him before the transfer window ends. So that's what's going to happen in this episode and I hope you enjoy it and I'll let's get into the episode. I said the two games I'm playing in this episode is going to be the Sunderland and Aston Villa and because of me trying to sign Saive I'm actually going to go play one of the games in this episode and that is actually going to be the home game, the rival, uh, the rivalry, the local derby shall I say against Aston Villa. I, as I said, I am at home, so I should have the home advantage. But now that I've stepped it up onto this new, because uh, I've stepped it up uh, to the next difficulty, it's going to be a lot harder. But I'm going to play the Sunderland game off camera, and then I'll come back and play the Villa game, and also try and sign Henry Saive. Uh, as you can probably see, I'm not too sure if you can see that, but we beat Sunderland two 0 Divock Origi and uh, Andy King got my two goals, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, it was pretty good performance from the team, and I'm quite happy with how the game went. At the moment, we are seventh in the league because we've drawn two and won one. No, yeah, drawn two, won one out of our three games, and I've had a, my inquiry back for Henry Saive. I inquired about him, and. Uh, they want 13 million, which is just over what I can afford. Well, actually, just under what I can afford because I've got 15 million. But I'm going to try and get him for like 8 million. But first of all, before I get make my offer, I want to try and see some of his stats on the game, in game, before I make an offer. I'm going to make an offer about 7.5 around that. I'm going to cut recording here and I'll get back to you for the Villa game. I am putting up. For the Liverpool game, no, not Liverpool game, uh, Aston Villa game is Sinclair, Origi, Mares, Kante, Andy King, Adrian Rabio, Christian Fuchs, Chancellor Member, Robert Hoof, and Callum Chambers. In goal is Kepa Arizabalaga. So hopefully I can get a good result from this game and uh, push for the title. And get into the top five with this win. And who would have thought it? Aston Villa are actually have actually scored a goal and are actually winning this game. Uh, it's a bad bit of defending on the wing. I mean, I, I should have uh, got rid of it, but then they crossed in along the floor, and Agbonlo had a shot. Ariza Balaga did save it, but he only parried it out into. Agbon Lahore's path who just taps it into an open net and it's now 1-0 Villa. That's Gabriel Agbon Lahore's fourth goal of this season so he's actually doing quite well because we are in our only in our fourth game so that's quite decent for a uh, striker to be honest. For any striker. I mean it's 1-0 and to be honest Villa are playing like Barcelona. They're literally passing it around making passes that seem impossible and they're just controlling the game and it's getting it is really frustrating at times to try and win the ball back but it's still nil nil and i need to try and get a goal in the second half to rescue something from this game it's the 70, 70th minute and i still haven't been able to break down villa so i'm having to bring i'm going to bring on vardy gray and drink water these three players would actually I remember last season I brought like players like Vardy and all that on uh, last season and they would get me something from the game and hopefully they can do it now. I'm bringing Kante back into the defence because I want, don't want to get Hoof a red card because he is a uh, vital part of my team. So I, that's, the, that's the team I'm going to play for the last 20 minutes of this game to try and get something back from this Villa game. TF plus 
90 plus third, the 90th pretty much minute, and the Amari Gray has scored. It comes off the crossbar and just inside the goal, and he's rescued Leicester City a point in this game. I'm absolutely happy with that. I mean, I at one point in this game, I felt thought like we we're just going to get dominated by Villa, and that seems really weird to say, but that is Damari Gray's second goal of this campaign, and I'm absolutely buzzing. Should be the whistle in no time in a bit, in a second. So the whistle there. Unless, actually, can I go on for a count? Can I go on for a second? Jamie Vardy. Oh no, uh, he went out for a throw in, but that doesn't matter. Uh, full time, 1 1. I'm happy with that. I mean, I would have liked to get got a win against Villa, but Villa were out playing me, which seems weird again to say. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to cut the recording here, making some offer for uh, Henry Saive, and I'll join you back with you on deadline day. It's for deadline day now, and. I've just made my offer for um, Henry Saive. Hopefully, uh, Newcastle can accept it. Unacceptable. They want 14 million for him, and I did put in a 7.5 million offer. Uh, I'm going to raise it to nine because uh, his value is about 13 million. So I want to try and get it just below that if I can. So I'm going to put that offer in. See what happens. And Newcastle have accepted the 9 million offer, so I'm going to put 60k in a week free. I'm not going to say anything about his squad role, and I'm only going to give him a 5% bonus. I don't know why, why but I just like doing, giving the players 5% bonuses. And this hopefully is him accepting it. Yep, Henry Saive has accepted his contract, and I'm absolutely happy with that. Uh, he's going to be instrumental in this midfield. Uh, actually, that's my England team. Let's just go into Leicester team. And Saive is going to line up next to Kante with uh, Gray, who's going to be, become my new cam. Sinclair is going to be my left mid. On the right, I'm going to have Mares, uh, Origi up front. And I'm happy with that team to be honest that's going to be hopefully a team that can fight for uh, the Premier League uh, I'm just going to assume like the rest of this day and then I'll join back with you after the day because I'm going to do one last thing in this episode to do one thing after I've just talked to you about this now as you see Ariza Balaga is my normal goalkeeper but as you can see on the bench no Schmeichel, and as you can see on the reserves, Schmeichel is not there. And I was like, why is Schmeichel not there? Because I was thinking, I, I never sold him, I can't remember letting him go. So I then went on uh, this, like, search for him. Schmeichel, uh, I think I spelled his name wrong. So I thought you put Casper. Michael, here we go, 29 years old. Apparently, he's at Leicester uh, at uh, Southampton and he's recently arrived from Leicester City. I don't know if that's something the board did behind my back, it probably might be, but I didn't really want to sell him because now I've got no substitute left as uh, goalkeeper. So, I might go into the pre agents just to get a goalkeeper just so I can have someone just in case Ariza Balaga does get himself uh, injured but anyway this is the thing I would like to uh, now do is I'm going to hire a youth scout and this is because I'm trying to find some young talents so I'm going to first of all look for a uh, playmaker a resilient playmaker and I'm also now because I've got no real goalkeeper I'm going to also look for a German goalkeeper. So those are going to be two scout networks that I'm going to set up. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Off camera I'm going to sign a real cheap, really cheap uh, reserve-ish 
goalkeeper just for the basis that I don't have anybody to replace Ariza Balaga if he does get injured. So uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you have all enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.